Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the amazing Air Fusion Evo inflatable kayak. And you can see straight away looking at it that it's a pretty amazing looking kayak. It doesn't look like an inflatable at all, really. Um, and it's very narrow, very sleek, very long. Basically, this bad boy is designed to go fast. Now, that doesn't mean it's not suitable for recreational use. It's just not quite as stable as our other kayak, simply because it's narrow, long, with a bit of a, a more rounded V-shaped hull, not so much of a flat hull like some of our others. So if you're a total beginner, uh, you may want to give me a call and have a chat about this one before you launch into it. But, you know, even if you've done a little bit of kayaking before, it's certainly not unstable. I've been out <laughs> myself, and if I can handle it, most people can. Uh, so, you know, the, it's good for recreational use, but it also is good for expedition kayaking, and it's also good for um, really good exercise kayak. So if you want to actually, you know, really get a good workout or keep up with the group, you know, if you're going out with a group, this is a fast kayak, very fast kayak. So you can see straight away the, the narrowness there. It um, doesn't have a lot of bulk either side of your hips here like some of the other inflatables on the market. So that helps it to go fast, basically, and it also helps you with your paddle stroke. So if you want to do a really good technique with a nice vertical paddle stroke close to your body, you can really do that with this kayak more so than the others. But you can see from this picture that it's not so narrow that you're going to tip out at the slightest wave. I mean, there's, there's still you know a reasonable level of stability in there for recreational use. Okay, so let's have a quick look at how it's made because it's, like I said, very unique. It's a patented design, this one. You won't see anything like it on the market. So what we've got here is a pole structure. Now, the pole structure starts at the back here, comes all the way underneath uh, the internals of the kayak, wraps around and then comes back up and, and keeps the deck propped up high. Now, the poles come out and then fold down, a bit like tent poles. Um, you, you have a connector underneath as well that sort of connects them together and then they have elastic in them that allow them to collapse down. So it all still fits in a bag, don't worry. The poles just give it, this pole underneath gives the hull a nice V shape. It kind of creates a keel and helps it to go straight. Then you have these drop stitch panels down the side. So you can see this here. Now drop stitch is what they make stand up pedal boards out of. So basically the, the top and the bottom, or in this case the either side, is stitched together. So that what that means is you can pump these sides up to very high pressure so that they're very rigid, um, but they don't lose their shape. So they don't become round. Okay, so what that means is you have a great deal of buoyancy and rigidity but with very little space, you know, taken up. That's how they've kept this kayak so narrow. And then you've got these, there's a thwart here and there's a thwart um, just at the back here as well. And basically what they do is push the side panels out sideways to give it the shape and it also acts as a bit of a footrest. You've got a little foam mat here um, as a floor and then you've got a seat which is not only clipped in the sides for backrest but it's also got an inflatable bottom. So you're nice and raised, you're not feeling this pole or anything like that. It's got inflatable combing around the top, so you can put a spray skirt on and go out in open ocean or go expedition paddling and a few other great features that we'll talk about later. But you can see the design is very, very unique. However, it still fits down, fits into a bag. Okay, so you can basically take something that has the equivalent performance of a really nice sleek hard shell, but you can take it in a bag. You can take it traveling, you can take it in your caravan. You can take it on your boat, you can take it overseas, you know, you can just leave it in the car if you don't want to get roof racks, uh, leave it in the cupboard, you know, the closet at home. So many options, it's great. Now, some of these awesome features, it's got this rear hatch, which you can see the picture of here. So this is really handy if you're going out in open ocean, you want to keep some stuff dry. It's got some really nice comfortable molded handles at the front so you can carry it easily. Um, and it's got some bungee lacing uh, on the front for gear tie down and then the back it's got D-ring so if you are going on an expedition you can strap some more stuff down. You can see here that inflatable seat that I was talking about there. Okay, so this is the evolution of the Air Fusion. Now what is the difference between the two? Sort of the million dollar question. Uh, now the first difference is that it's orange instead of yellow so this is the old Air Fusion Elite. But there are a couple of differences you probably wouldn't notice straight away. And the first one is the material of the hull. So this old one, the Air Fusion Elite, is made of a PVC tarpaulin, which is an extremely durable um, and thick material. So, you know, you don't have any risks of puncture or anything like that. But it's heavy. With the Air Fusion Evo, they've gone to PU um, tarpaulin, which is polyurethane tarpaulin, which is a much more lighter weight material. 
okay, because the drop stitch adds a bit of weight, so they wanted a kayak that was still going to be a nice lightweight kayak. Um, so it's under 15 kilograms. I think it's 14 and a half kilograms, this kayak all up. They've managed to keep the weight down really low. It's actually, I believe, lower than the Air Fusion Elite because they've changed up the hull material. And it's also narrow, which you kind of get a feel for in this kayak. Uh, this one's 28 inches, this one's 26, or is it 26, 24? But either way, it's got a good five centimeters less in the width of it. So that gives you even better performance on the water. The other thing is the design. Now, this is the new Air Fusion Evo, which we've talked about. It has these two drop stitch panels on the side. This is the Air Fusion Elite. Same pole structure, same thwarts, but instead it has double side panels. So you have one, two, three, four side panels, not drop stitch, just regular tubes. So in terms of setup, what you used to have to do with this one was fill them up um, four chambers with the Boston valves, then go back and adjust the pressure as, as the thwarts sort of got inflated because then they would push out the chambers a bit. And there was a lot of adjustment required. And that's simply not the case here. First of all, there's only two chambers, one on each side instead of four, two on each side. And second of all, they don't require adjustment. Once you pump these drop stitches up, the thwarts stay in place in this model. They don't move around, so you don't have to do any adjustments. So it shaves quite a bit of time off the setup and just makes the whole process nice and simple. Okay, so <laughs> this is a wonderful kayak, a really amazing kayak. It uses the latest technology and materials, and it's an amazing design from Advanced Elements. Uh, if you, Like I said, if you want to go fast and you want something that's got a simpler setup than the Air Fusion Elite and is also nice and lightweight, this is a wonderful kayak for you. Uh, get in touch or you can order online now.